Grazie. Ora, se, se alzate il dito con la V così, facciamo una zoomata tutti insieme. On September 8th of this year, hundreds of thousands of people filled the piazzas of Italy in a protest called V-Day. The V in V-Day is short for an Italian insult, which can't be repeated by the New York Times. And all those Vs were aimed squarely at Italy's most powerful politicians. Eccolo lì! Ma questa parola, cioè, che viene dall'anima, dal soul, va fa soul, dall'anima, di dire basta, non vogliamo più vedervi, non sappiamo che ormai destra, sinistra, i partiti fate parte del passato. For decades, a well-known culture of patronage, corruption, mafia ties, and gross inefficiency has permeated Italian government. Beppe Grillo organized V-Day as the first major public demonstration of a populist movement aimed at combating political corruption. The strange thing is, Grillo is not a politician. By trade, he's a stand-up comic. Guardate che il Parlamento, come percentuale di delinquenti in Parlamento, è uno su dieci. Cioè, uno su dieci. Il Bronx, che è il quartiere più, più diffamato nel mondo che negli Stati Uniti, la percentuale è uno su quindici. Cioè, il, il Bronx ha paura di Montecitorio. Ma lo capisci? Grillo's influence is spreading, not just because of his humor, but because he is using the internet to attack Italy's old guard politicians. Ma non è Grillo il guru, il trascinatore, non è Grillo. È la rete, questo strumentino qua che loro non conoscono, non riescono neanche ad aprirlo, non riescono ad aprirlo. La maggior parte dei nostri politici... Grillo runs the most popular blog in all of Italy, beppegrillo.it. Available in English and Italian, it is currently the 10th most linked to blog in the entire world. The site hosts commentary by journalists, politicians, activists, and ordinary citizens on topics such as immigration, healthcare, the environment, and of course, politics. Uh, but the charge of populism is an interesting one. Uh, what's populism? Grillo has tapped into a deep well of distrust Italians have for politics as usual. E purtroppo è ancora sporca in Italia la politica, bisogna pulirla. Ma dal punto di vista politico? Dal punto di vista politico sono giorni molto brutti. A recent poll by the nation's leading paper says that a majority of Italians associate politics with negative words like disgust, diffidence, anger and boredom. Grillo has organized a petition for new laws designed to clean up Italian parliament. It calls for the ousting of senators convicted of crimes, establishing term limits, and allowing Italian citizens to vote directly for specific candidates rather than for parties. Si può votare sino a mezzanotte. On V-Day, Grillo's supporters collected 250,000 signatures for his petition. The impact of V-Day was so strong that it caused the Prime Minister of Italy, Romano Prodi, to publicly rebut Grillo, who had nicknamed him Valium. Beppe Grillo said, but I'm going to go to the Prodi, like a Valium. The things we have to do with calm, with seriousness. Non siamo a dirigere un paese per far spettacolo. In his 35-year career, Grillo has never been afraid to criticize the powers that be. Back in 1986, during a comedy routine on RAI, the government-owned television network, Grillo cracked a joke that insinuated the prime minister at the time a socialist by the name of Bettino Craxi was a thief. It didn't go over well. E Craxi dice sì perché? Ma allora se sono tutti socialisti a chi rubano? Because of the joke, Grillo was blacklisted from television. Years later, Grillo's wisecrack proved prophetic when Craxi was embroiled in an embezzlement scam that brought down his party's government. Che fattura 13.000 miliardi e ha 13.000 miliardi di debiti. In una società normale, 
domani mattina noi dovremo essere chiusi per bancarotta, però. Grillo studied accounting before he got into comedy, and in 2001, he created an entire routine criticizing the financial mismanagement of Parmalat, Italy's dairy conglomerate. In 2004, Parmalat became the largest bankruptcy in European history. Arriva nel pomeriggio Beppe Grillo al comando della Guardia di Finanza di Piacenza, la città dove... Grillo had beaten Italian journalists and government investigators to the scandal by three years. Non è un problema di mafia in Italia. Il nostro vero problema è il Parlamento italiano, dove oggi... And last year, he was invited to speak to the European Union Parliament on the subject of Italian political corruption. Lui spinge per il cambiamento, quindi serve perché aiuta, aiuta, fa in modo che i politici ricevano questo segnale. I think he has a good way to point at the right things that are not working in our country. Despite Grillo's growing influence, some say that his rhetoric lets the average Italian blame their problems on the government without taking responsibility for their own behavior. I think shouting doesn't cost very much. I think shouting can be an expression of frustration. You know, I have enough, stop it. But then to change your ways mean changing your individual way, refusing certain compromises, to start to pay your taxes, don't ask favor if you when, you when you are looking for a job. Although Italians are notorious for taking advantage of the system, many of Grillo's young followers have in fact taken his message as a call to political action. We joined through, through uh, meetup, meetup.com, it's a website. And you can Out of the success of his blog, Grillo has organized an army of activists using meetup.com, the same site Howard Dean used to organize his presidential campaign in 2004. Of course it was a Pepe's idea, and uh, he just said, come on guys, do something, and try to share, try to, to stay together, try to join all together, and fr from this point, trying to do something real. Grillo denies having any personal political aspirations. But since V-Day, he has encouraged his meetup groups throughout Italy to run for political office in their native towns and cities. A recent poll says that half of Italy would consider voting for his iconoclastic movement in the next election. Bene. <laughs>